My friends, it's been a little bit, but I am back to talk to you about the only plugin that I actually ended up purchasing this year. And that would be Make Believe's MBSI plugin based off of the MSI console. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes. Now, first off, I wanna make sure to say, I love the stuff the guys at Make Believe Studio do. Um, I've been out there, we've done some videos with them in the past, you can check that out. And just to make it clear, they did give me a copy of this plugin, but I did end up having to purchase it for a completely different reason. And I'll spit that out really quick before this video gets started, it's kind of a funny story. There was a friend of mine that I was working on a project with, uh, I had a copy of it here, and I was using it on all the stuff for her sessions and stuff. And we had been going back and forth with stuff and she wanted to work over at her place and her studio. So I went over there and she had downloaded the trial of the thing. The trial ran out. Make a long story short, at the end of it, it had run out and we were in the middle of something. And I'm like, I'm not gonna call these guys about somebody else's stuff. That's not their problem. And, uh, and her card wasn't working. I'm like, oh, I'll put it on my card. Just send it back to me later. We all know how this situation is gonna end up, right? So we end up getting in an argument about a song later on and uh, we stop talking and I'm just like, you know, that random text like, hey, yo, wanna hit me back for that? And never got it. So here we go, guys. First plugin that I paid for this year. Let's get into what it's all about. The MBSI plugin is based off of the MSI console, like I said, and is famous for recording bands like the Eagles and stuff like Eric Clapton. And what makes it really special is you can't get this thing in a hardware format, really. Only a few of these consoles were ever made. And that's one great thing about Make Believe. They tend to make stuff that you can't get your hands on and you kind of hold a little bit of a piece of history when you have their plugins in your hands. So yes, a channel strip plugin of something that you couldn't test out otherwise. There is a 30 day trial of it. I know that because I had one and somebody else had one and then I, you know. Now when dealing with channel strips, one thing I like to use them on is everything because it's a channel strip. So you should be able to use it for every single thing that exists. One specific feature of this that I do like is that it has a modern and a classic mode. And what that means is that there is a classic mode which deals with the hardware limitations that somebody that would be using the hardware would have. And then there's a modern mode that kind of gives you some more functionality now that we have that available in today's day and age. We're gonna test this out on drums first. Let's see what we can get with some drums on this.
I think that came out really cool. It has a really nice gluing feeling to it. Something that, you know, I typically associate with like an SSL compressor. It doesn't sound like an SSL compressor, but I would say that the, the way that it glues is really good. And, and the compressor by itself on the module is really nice. Um, let's get into some bass now on top of that. Okay, now listening to those together, one thing I will say about these console style plugins is they feel cohesive. Um, it feels like everything is going through one thing and, and that's something that we don't get a lot of anymore, I think, because people are tracking and pulling stuff in from all different sources and samples. When you're using something like a console strip or, or a channel strip per se, you can kind of feed everything going into the same way and the compression is going to react similarly on all of those things. And I, I think that that can be a beautiful thing. What I would think this would be cool for at the end of the day would be mixing stems. Like if there was stems of a project and I wanted to put them all in and make them feel glued, this is kind of how I would do it. But let's add some guitars in now and, and see how, how it keeps on going because so far so good, right? Okay, let's add it in. Okay, love what this is doing to the mid range of the guitars. Having those filters in those spots is really useful and I do like that there is a button that allows you to select both filters. That's really cool. And of course now we're gonna throw in some vocals and see where we end up on this thing, right? A lovely day. Oh, a lovely day. Lovely 
Okay, one thing I will say is out of compressors that are in channel strips, this might be my favorite one that I've heard in a long time. You could essentially kind of get the basis for your whole mix with just this plugin. I think that's really dope. My favorite thing that they make is that uh, is the mix head plugin. It's subtle, but as you stack it over a bunch of things, it, it really does kind of add this hate feeling, even though it's not technically a tape machine it does add that kind of feeling to your track so um, so yeah shout out to make believe congrats on on this new plugin i think you guys should definitely check that out it will be in the description below and at jst we do love to you know shout out our friends every once in a while because this game of making music better it's it's not ours alone there are tons of people making great products all the time and we're just happy to be amongst them so if you're an engineer on the come up give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe you only have to do it one time and tap that bell for notifications so when a video drops you know the location until next time my friends i'll catch you later